All right, boys and girls, welcome to a place called Houston, uh, out here in London. I'm with... Yeah, King Sam, <laughs> Yilong. Call me Yilong, yeah. So Yilong. you probably remember this guy from uh, when he had the RX-7, right? Yes, RX-7, yeah. RX-7, okay. So we're going to shoot something completely different today. It's this. Black is definitely the best color for a G-Wagon. It is dope. Check this out. Sorry, should I have washed it? Guys. <laughs> So some of you guys are probably saying, oh yeah, we should have washed the car, but who cares, man, it's a G-Wagon, it's supposed yes, to be dirty, exactly. right? The uh, properly, yeah, exactly, yeah, right? Yeah. If you use it properly, yeah. it's going to be dirty, so that's what yeah. it is. Yeah, so let's get in, man, let's yes, do it. Let's do it, yeah. All right, let's jump in. Yeah, as you can see, the door sale is still there. <laughs> And everything about this car just feels solid. Like when, when you close the door, you actually feel the solidity in it. Yeah, that's the best song. Yeah. The sound of cl uh, closing door. <laughs> for real, yeah, right? for that, yeah. See that? Did you guys hear that, yeah. man? That is solid. See? Yeah, you definitely hear that V8 rumble, man. Driving this car, you gotta be careful, especially in central London. Yeah. You can't just simply flat the pedal because it's difficult to stop, you know? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Yeah, this is, for a big car, it is very, very, yeah. very quick. This car is 2.5 tons. The engine in yeah, this, man. You don't feel it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 572 horsepower, I think, which is quite a lot. And um, zero to 60 literally comes in about 5.4 seconds, which is insane for a car that weighs this much. And also you sit quite high up, so yeah, visibility is quite high. good. everybody man it's like it's almost it's five o'clock and the roads are clear this never happens in London what's going on yeah, I've my seven. yeah. Uh, oh. I shouldn't mention that man the car is bleeding <laughs> what was that like because I mean that car is an iconic Japanese uh, yes, obviously yes. car and it's, it's, uh, it's unique in central London yeah the only one I think that was the only RX7 that I'd seen like yeah. in London right there's yes, uh, no yes. RX7 You, oh. you like your Japanese cars, don't you? Because before that, yeah, actually, you had a Lexus. I feel weird, you know. I didn't. I didn't even know it's a Japanese car it's when, I, Lexus when I know there it. As well. it's, it's Lexus everywhere, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I like. I, I like some cars like RX7, like a Lexus IS, yeah. like the Subaru car, of course, uh, LFA, my yeah. favorite. Oh yeah, know? of course. I'm that's... not really loving any other supercar, but except like LFA. LFA, yeah. But turns out they're all Japanese car. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm here with uh, this G-Wagon. All right, so as you guys know, these G-Wagons are everywhere in London at the moment. When you got this uh, previous model, you got the new, ver new version, you got a Bentley Bentayga, you recently got the brand new Lamborghini uh, Urus as well. But this is an iconic beast. Oh, black the hell out man I mean check this out this thing is like it's like it's what Batman would have if he had a G-Wagon right the whole thing is so blacked out that there's actually no chrome bits on this car whatsoever black black the wheels are black as well the lights have been tinted black as well get it here also tinted except the Mercedes uh, logo that you guys see here these huge alloy wheels I think they're 22 or 24 inch uh, yeah, they're ginormous, like massive dinner plates. They help you roll over bumps and cracks in the road uh, a lot easier. Because London and England, we have rubbish roads here. So that's probably why in London, we have a lot of these cars, because uh, big wheels mean smoother rides. Actually, that actually makes perfect sense. In Germany, you don't get a lot of these cars because they've got perfectly good roads. In England, roads are rubbish. That's why you get G-Wagons with bigger wheels to help you ride over those bumps and cracks and stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> you know what, another advantage, right? Because the wheels are quite big, it probably means that 
this area here is a lot larger, which kind of prevents you from actually scratching your alloys, all right? That is actually an inbuilt uh, feature that most other cars don't actually have. This car comes with it already built in, so there you have it. Bigger wheels, less scratchy, because you're higher off the curbs and stuff like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't go be putting like big wheels on your micro man because they ain't gonna be the same look, all right? But on these cars, it's cool. The inside is absolutely luxurious. I mean, you're not gonna buy this car for taking it off-road because I mean, that's just kind of defeating the point, even though it kind of isn't, but you know what I mean, right? Getting inside is not for weak people. You gotta be a macho, macho man. Apparently, you gotta push with some force to open it like that and open it. I'm quite strong, I go to the gym, but you know, it's not like you get, kind of get to learn uh, with this G-Wagon, all right? So we go inside, it is literally upholstery of the highest quality. You've got this ginormous seven inch screen in here as well for your infotainment and all that stuff. So this car is adept in the city, but it's also quite useful when you go off-road as well because it's got, I think, three interlocking diffs, which means that it's able to deal with all kinds of uh, crazy terrains when you're out there in the wild. And the one reason why a lot of people actually love this car is because of how high it is. I mean, the seating position is pretty high. The plus point of that is... When you're sitting that up that high, you get to see a lot further. So a lot of people feel more comfortable driving this car. That raised height setup. By now, you probably want to hear how amazing this V8 engine actually sounds. So yeah, we're going to do that right now. I'm going to tell you guys, man, it sounds like thunder. Big advantage of having a car this big is uh, having a really massive boot space. So let's go and have a look inside. I mean, let's open this. Jesus Christ. We drove all the way from China because if you're a smuggler, you know, like human trafficking, exactly, right? Yeah. Uh, you get a G-Wagon like this because you've got loads of space <laughs> and fit at least four people in there, yes, which means more profit I can, I can to you, right? can work out in there. Exactly, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah perfectly. So, there. so there's so much advantages Woo! to having a car this big. Got all that yeah. space in there. All your shopping, all the smuggling you can do as well. People, mangoes, elephants, whatever you want to do, you can put all in there as well. The question is though, why would you buy the older G-Wagon in 2019? It's kind of obvious really, isn't it? Because I mean, if you're a man, you get one of these because it looks manly, it's very, very square. It's not as curved as the new one, which kind of makes you look not like a man. Um, and also, most importantly, it actually costs a lot less. 95K versus 155K for the brand new G-Wagon. That's the starting price. Bentley Bentayga starts at 130K. That's like a basic, there's no options in there. Beast right here can be yours for a measly 95k. Yeah, so if you want one, holler this guy. I'll put his details on the screen as well. And you can buy it for yourself, right? So we're gonna check out a really, really cool restaurant uh, out here in Mayfair as well. Yes. So yes. should we do that now? Yes, let's go. Okay. We have just reached the restaurant. So, uh, yeah, so ladies and gents, we're here at, uh, I don't even have to say the name. How do you say the name? It's a- uh, Murga Hahan. Murga Hahan. Ha if, if you know burger, you can imagine- Burger Hahan, Murga Hahan, ha right? We there you go. We have a food in China called Moor. Moor, okay. Moor. Yeah. yeah, we have the, it's like similar concept. You have, uh, we have the pork meat or the uh, beef mm. inside of the Moor. Ah. So it's just like a bur burger. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, Murga created this word. Okay, Murga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Murga. Yeah, right. Okay, let's go inside. Let's, let's go have some delicious uh, Chinese food. So we're gonna walk inside right now. And, uh... How cool these are, man! These uh, are like, uh, they're, they're terracotta. Uh, some kind of warrior in, China, in English. Let me see. The terracotta army or something like uh, that. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, definitely know it's. It's, it's quite famous. Oh no, it's so dark, I can't see anything right now. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. So these look like the Chinese terracotta army. I don't know if you guys can see, it's quite dark in here. But, uh... Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, terracotta there we go, terracotta army, yes. there we go. Let's yeah. go inside. So let's go. 